So, Microsoft has been hard at work making Windows 11 24H2 even more secure by making it harder for you to run a Windows 11 with a local account. Because apparently, giving up all your privacy to Microsoft is what they consider secure. Stay tuned. So, you've probably already heard the news because it's literally been everywhere, but Microsoft is going to be disabling the popular Bypass NRO workaround for Windows 11. Now, as of right now, the Bypass NRO workaround still works fine. However, we don't know when Microsoft plans on disabling this. It could be disabled by the time this video is released, or it could be part of the 25H2 update later this year. However, like I said to several people who have tagged me with the news, it just means we're going to have to come up with another way. And that's exactly what we're going to show you how to do today. But first, I got to pay some bills. So check out today's sponsor. Are you still running Windows 11 unactivated because the license just costs too much? Then you should check out today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, where you can get a valid Windows 11 license for around $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark and actually be able to change your desktop background with a valid license for Windows 11. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 11 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 11 and click the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark. And check out the description for deals on not just Windows, but Office 2. Now, on with the video. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. Technically, the bypass NRO workaround was just a script. We could manually do what the script was doing in the first place, or we could just recreate the script. Also, there's an even easier way to get this done than the original bypass NRO workaround. So today, I'm gonna show you how to do both, just in case Microsoft decides to disable one of these workarounds. So let's jump on the system and get right to it. Okay, so I'm going to be doing all of this from a virtual machine just to make it a little bit easier because we're going to have to do this a couple of times. And with a virtual machine, I can use snapshots. We can jump back to our older snapshot anytime we want. But first, before we do this, I'm going to show you how to recreate the original Bypass NRO script. And for that, you're obviously going to need a, a computer that's already running Windows 11 or Windows 10 would be fine, or essentially any operating system that you can use to create a text document. So we're going to go ahead and minimize this now. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and launch Notepad, which is right here. Okay, now from Notepad, essentially what we're going to be doing right now is just recreating what the Bypass NRO script did in the first place, which was essentially just add something to the registry. So to start out with, you want to type echo off. If you've ever made a bat file, then you'll already know what we're getting at right here. And then the next line we want to write reg add hklm backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash and current version. And I'm going to go ahead and put all this into the description of this video too, so that you don't have to type all this out. You can just copy and paste it. But then after that, we're going to go one more backslash. We're going to type in O O B E then space. We're going to go forward slash V. And this is going to be bypass NRO space forward slash T. Then another space, we want to go reg underscore D word space forward slash D one. This turns it on and then forward slash F. So that's a very long command. But what that will do is it will add the reg word bypass NRO and it will give it a value of one. That's essentially all that does. And then the next line is just shutdown slash R slash T zero. And what this does is it shuts down the system, but it actually restarts it with the slash R and then the slash T gives it a timer of zero. So what this will do is it'll just restart the system immediately. And then at this point we need a USB drive. So I have one right here that is already my Windows installer. 
Okay, so if we open up our USB drive, as you can see, this is just a regular Windows 11 installer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this right here to this USB drive. So we're gonna go File, Save As, and then from there, we're gonna go this PC, we're gonna open the USB drive, and then I'm gonna name this simply Bypass NRO.CMD. And then you wanna make sure the save as type is changed to all files. And then from there, you go ahead and hit save. And what it'll do is it will create a Windows script and it'll put it in the root directory of our USB drive. You can use this USB drive to install Windows and let me show you how to use it. So we're gonna go ahead and close this and we're gonna launch our Windows 11 setup. And I went ahead and took a snapshot right at the point where we need to actually do this. So it's right where we need to sign in to a Microsoft account. So it's gonna take a second for my virtual machine to restore here. And I'll go ahead and zoom in on this for you. But essentially right here, once you push the sign in button, here's where it wants you to create a Microsoft account. And it doesn't give you any way around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Shift F10, just like we did before. But the only change is, is now we gotta go to our D drive, which is probably our USB. Yours might be different, so go ahead and look at your drives. It may be the E drive, but on mine it's D. And as you'll see, we have this bypass NRO CMD right here. So all I gotta do is type, Bypass NRO CMD, go ahead and hit enter. And at this point, it'll go ahead and reboot the computer just like the Bypass NRO did before. So let's go ahead and let it reboot and I'll see you here once it gets back into setup. Okay, so as it's booting up here, one thing that we need to do, just like we needed to do during the Bypass NRO time, was we needed to actually disconnect our network cable. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it virtually inside of VirtualBox, but if you're doing this on a regular system, then you can go ahead and just do that on your computer. Just go ahead and disconnect the network. Then go ahead and hit yes, and go through the setup like you normally would. We're gonna go ahead and skip our keyboard layout. And then right here, as you can see, oh no, we don't have internet. So we're just gonna click, I don't have internet. And it lets you put in a local account. So we'll go ahead and put in your name, put in your password, and you can put a local account in just like usual. So essentially all we're doing here is creating a new script that does exactly the same thing as the original Bypass NRO workaround did. So this works in exactly the same way as the original workaround. I don't think Microsoft will disable this, so we should be safe to create a USB drive and throw the script into the root of that drive to be able to use the original Bypass NRO workaround. However, there's another way that we can do the same thing and ultimately it's even easier than the original Bypass NRO because it allows you to skip the entire process of creating a local account without rebooting the computer at all. So, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so we can go ahead and shut this down right here. We don't need this anymore. And I'm gonna go ahead and restore my snapshot right here so that we can go back to the same state that we were at before. So I'm gonna go ahead and start our virtual machine and it's gonna take a second to start this up. And it'll start right at the point we were at prior to me showing you how to do the last workaround. So from here, we're gonna click the sign in button. There we go, okay. Now we're at the, let's add your Microsoft account. So from here, all you have to do is hit Shift F10, just like you did before. But this time, what you wanna type is you wanna type start space ms dash c x h colon local only and hit enter and what this does is it brings up the regular account creation dialog so from here you can just create a local account i'm not going to put a password in i'm just going to hit next and that's it <laughs> you're done now it'll go ahead and boot windows regularly now, ultimately, when it comes to workarounds like this, it's simply going to be a game of cat and mouse. Workarounds that work today are just might not work tomorrow, and that's just the way it is. Ultimately, though, there's always going to be a new workaround, so there's no reason to freak out when Microsoft disables one of these. It just means that we're going to have to come up with something else. In this situation, we were able to come up with workarounds before Microsoft even <laughs> disabled the original workaround. Ultimately, there's always going to be a way to get around the Microsoft account requirements because Windows doesn't just run on home PCs.
If we have to, we can just use the same methods that corporate networks use. We can create an unintended answer file that just creates a local account for us and then skips the entire account creation portion of Windows setup. And if you'd like to know more about that, then check out this video here, where I show you how to set up a debloated copy of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware without a Microsoft account. And best of all, it doesn't require any input from you at all. But as always, you guys have a great day.